As Callum explained the importance of teamwork in the workplace, here are some strategies slash tips you can follow while working in the business world. Remember that brains equals more productivity and then teamwork makes the work easier for you and more enjoyable for you. So let's begin. So teamwork can be challenging when people aren't sure what their roles are. Not knowing what they're supposed to do can lead to things such as people doing the same role, same things, which can lead to arguments or a delayed projects. So a strategy that you can follow is to clearly document the scope of each role, like describe what each role is from the get-go, and then make sure to document that role in like a Google, Google Doc or anything that you can type freely in, and then make sure it's accessible for everyone. So when questions arise, they're easy to answer later on. Making clear roles is just the first step. The next step is to figure out who's responsible for that role, assigning the role to a certain person. To do this, you can get set up a meeting and gather the whole team to have a discussion, but make sure that everyone is there at the discussion. That way team members can call out unrealistic standards of them, like what, what the standard is of that role that you're looking for. To do this, you can uh, create a group chat through text, or you can use apps like GroupMe to keep it in contact with your coworkers. Like I stated before, teamwork, team members can argue with each other to solve this problem. The solution is really simple. You need to identify the communication problems from the get-go. Remember that effective collaboration can't happen without effective communication. So addressing pain, main pain points in your team proactively will make it easier for all your team members to work together in the future. Stating the problem and letting them off your chest will make you feel better and be able to focus more on your work instead of worrying about a conflict you have with your coworker. You just simply just let it out. So let it all out. Working in a team isn't always the most comfortable thing to do, especially since you're working with others or you might not know the person. So yeah. One may feel pressure not to mess up or the coworker is constantly checking on what you're doing. If you're one of those coworkers that constantly check on other people's work, you need to stop micromanaging them. You need to allow others to do their work freely because you watching them will only make them feel pressured and ruin their workflow. And it also shows that you simply don't trust them that you want to nitpick at every little thing to make sure that the coworker is on, on point to your standards. Instead, if you feel like you need to check something, you should go back and check your own work and trust your team members. In a team project, you're most likely not going to know all the answers to for your part perfectly, so I advise you to simply just ask your team members for their feedback. Knowledge is power, so if you don't know or are unsure of something, just ask them. If you choose to ask them, be sure to commit to their response seriously because you wanna respect your coworkers' opinions and if you take, it, take what they're saying in a negative way, it can just lead to more confrontation. So if you are going to ask them, take their comments seriously. The next strategy I'd suggest would be to talk less and listen more. This kind of goes with ask, goes back to like asking your coworkers for help. So the next strategy is talk less, listen more. There will always be a give and take on the team, but the giving and taking will eventually have to balance out. So if you talk a lot, you have to sit back and listen a lot. But if you listen a lot, sometimes you have to just express your opinions with others. You can also give 
give a chance to those who, whose ideas and opinions are sometimes unheard by encouraging them to share outside the meeting. You can do this by like, as I said before, you can do this by like group chat text or outside the office. This could also be used in situations where you ask for feedback, as I said before. You wanna respect your, be respectful to your coworkers. So you need to have that give and take type of relationship. The last strategy slash tip that I can advise you to do to improve your teamwork in the workplace is to meet your team members or coworkers outside of work. You can either go to like a cafe or any other public places that are open. Meeting somewhere other than work can create a relationship outside of work, which could lead to a more comfortable time working together. Talking outside the office can increase productivity and inspire communication and make team members more creative. Personal tip that I do sometimes when I work in a group is uh, I try to find like common interests with other person. Like for me, I'm interested in basketball. So I ask them, oh, are they interested like in the NBA or something? So creating like this, like this common interest outside of working, I feel like it will make you It'll make it easier to communicate with them because they they don't seem like a complete stranger because you have like a little common interest. So it kind of eases your like tensions. So quick breakdown or a quick review of tips and practices you can do is make, make sure you make the decisions together, communicate together through text, through app like GroupMe or like Discord, things like that. And then don't be shy. Second tip is don't be shy. Ask questions if needed. Ask for feedback from your coworkers if you need. And then tip number three, listen. Listening is a big key part in teamwork because you have to give and take, as I said before, you, have to, you can talk, but you also have to listen just as much as you talk. And then, a bonus tip slash practice would be to build a relationship outside of work because that could create a bond outside of work and make it easier and more fun for you to work with the person.